this series is going to be doing some fun rooting stuff with um, the Motorola G, but really a lot of this applies to a lot of um, Android devices. And um, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is enable developer mode. I'm running Lollipop here, and if I go into uh, settings on the phone, and I scroll all the way down, uh, I can find down here uh, about the phone. And right here, there's the build number. And if you click that seven times, which I've already done that, it's saying that I already have enabled developer mode. But you click it seven times, it will en enable developer mode. And then you can click back, and you can see there's a developer's option here. And we're going to want to enable USB debugging, which I have already enabled here. OK. Now that we have that done, let's switch over to our desktop or laptop or whatever device we have connected to our phone or tablet, in this case, uh, the Moto G. Uh, and let's install some packages we're going to be using, some, some programs we're going to be using throughout this series. Uh, I'm using, I'm running Debian, and I'm going to use Aptitude, but use whatever package manager you want. Uh, these packages should be in most distributions. Uh, but three packages, Android Tools Fastboot, Android Tools ADB, and uh, Aboot IMG. I'll go ahead and install those, which I already have installed, but I'll run that anyway. As you can see, I already have them installed. Uh, they might be labeled different things uh, in your repositories, but you want Fastboot, ADB, and Aboot Image. And today we're mainly going to be using um, Fastboot and a little bit of uh, ADB, which we're going to actually run right now. Uh, now you can, to restart your phone um, into the bootloader mode, uh, there's buttons you can press. But if you have it hooked to your computer with developer mode, all you have to do is use ADB. And I'm going to run sudo just because that's how the permissions are set up on my machine sudo adb i'm going to say reboot boot loader and when i do that and if you look at the phone which the screen was already off there we go we're in bootloader mode great so now what we want to do is unlock the bootloader i want to say first off you're voiding your warranty doing this and second off back up all your data because when you're unlocking your bootloader it will wipe out all your personal data on the phone um, and that's for security reasons. Think of it like this. On a regular desktop or laptop, if you have whatever operating system, it doesn't matter whether it's a uh, Apple desktop laptop running Mac OS, uh, if it's you're running Linux, BSD, or Windows, if you're running an operating system and you don't have your hard drive encrypted, you can set all the passwords you want in the world. It doesn't matter if someone boots a live CD, they pop in a Linux CD or a USB flash drive, they can boot their own operating system and completely bypass all your passwords, meaning they have access to all your data that's not encrypted. Same thing on the phone. Once you unlock the bootloader, you can boot different images just like you would boot a live CD, meaning that if your bootloader is unlocked, it means anyone can hook up to the phone and now they can have access to all your data. So that's why it wipes and also might be a good idea when you're not needing your bootloader unlocked to relock it, although it still is going to be voiding your warranty if you really care about that sort of thing. So what we need to do now to unlock the bootloader is we're going to, going to uh, run this command. It's uh, sudo fastboot OEM and then we're gonna get undock, unlocked data. I'm not gonna run that on my phone. My phone's already unlocked, um, but that will give you a key for your phone, and I don't wanna share that with everybody. Once you have that key, you can go to this website, and I'll try to remember to put a link to this in the description. It's the Motorola site, and it's the Motorola site for unlocking your bootloader. They give you information, the warnings, you'll click next, and at this point, it will probably ask you to log in or create an account. I've already logged, created an account and logged in. Uh, and here it's telling you what I just told you. Run Fastboot OEM Unlock Data. And it will give you output that looks something like this. Um, on a Windows or Linux machine, on a Mac machine, I guess it looks like this. What we want is everything after the bootloader lines. So go ahead, copy and paste that. So it's all five lines are on one line like this paste your code into there and click unlock my device. And at that point, uh, you also want to agree to this. You're going to get an email that's going to have a new key for you. Once you have that key, you go back to your shell. And again, I'm running sudo just to make sure permissions go through here. I'm going to say fast boot 
which fast boot is the bootloader on most Android devices. Uh, if you have a Samsung device, uh, it's not using fast boot, but most other devices use fast boot. If you are running a Samsung device, you're going to want to look into a program called Hildale, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, if you're on a Linux or really it's cross platform, it's an open source program, or a leaked program called Odin if you're on Windows, but you can still use Hildale on Windows. But we're mainly looking at Fastboot because that's the majority of Android devices. So the Fastboot program on your phone interacts with the Fastboot uh, bootloader on your phone. And here we're going to say OME and we're going to say unlock. And at this point, you're going to paste in the key that they emailed you. You'll hit enter and the phone will then tell you that it is unlocked. And that is how you unlock your bootloader on the Motorola G and really a lot of, well, the, the website that we went to was specifically for Motorola. Um, it might vary a little bit for other devices, uh, but as far as unlocking, you're still gonna be using Fastboot if your Fastboot is your bootloader and the unlock command with the key there. So that's it, it's that simple. Again, remember, back up all your personal data beforehand if you have anything, because it will wipe that for security reasons. You don't want people getting your, your keys for all your logins on all your website and applications or seeing anything that's private on your phone. So again, now that we have this unlocked, gonna continue the series. We're gonna be looking at um, uh, modifying images, making our own custom images that we can boot from or install onto the phone and that will allow us to do a lot of fun root startup stuff uh, and we're going to be doing stuff that's similar to booting again a live CD uh, on the phone. You can again do this completely in RAM or actually modify the hard drives on the phone. So I thank you for watching. This video was a little boring, uh, a little simple, but it's something you need to do for the rest of the tutorials to work. So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There should be a link in the description. Uh, as always, if you enjoy this tutorial, I hope that you like, share, subscribe, and I hope that you have a great day. Okay, this is an introduction to filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter Ember, and my wife Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. I'm a firefighter by day, as well as by night, we work long hours. But that's not why you're here. You're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming, which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great. If not, that's all right. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.